Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're ready to put on some shoes. <laughs> yes. I need to break in these new shoes. Yeah. But I got them, they're half size, they're wide, and then they're half size smaller. These are the new shoes you were just sized for? Yeah, so they're a half size uh, smaller. And um, did they take the width in? They took the width in too. So I don't wiggle as much in the front. Yeah, they feel better. They feel like they actually fit my foot and it's not yeah. as much wiggle room right here. And so I just put tape here on the inside of my shank to prevent sweating from breaking down the shoe too quickly. And typically I like to do a, a cross with the elastics here just to keep, make sure that the shoe stays on. And then collect them on the inside. And tuck it so you don't have those ribbons just poking out wherever. So you can see the difference between these shoes that are a little bit used they're a half size larger, so you see there's a little bit extra fabric along the back, which actually can cause sinking when you're in the shoe. Chris, what's your technique of tying shoes? Um, I actually learned from Gabby, my roommate, um, and she taught me the Russian way to tie your point shoes. Thanks, which I guess, Gabby. Yeah. You want to get that authenticity? What's your Russian ballerina name again? It's French. I'm French. Oh, it is French. So you're <laughs> um, French Russian. Yes, I'm French Russian. I'm Colette Day. So the Russian way, start with your outside ribbon. Oh, I start with the outside. And then you bring it under. Yeah. Yeah. And then this one goes around once, and then you tie it underneath. Oh, I have so much slack. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. Wow. You like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>